Coach, find a way to uh, battle back once tonight, but ultimately couldn't do it a second time. Just thoughts on your club's performance this evening? Well, I, I think it comes down. We made a, a few mistakes in these face-offs. I think the power play, you know, I think a goal came out of nothing there. So obviously that uh, puts us behind the eight ball. But, um, you, you know, we had the character to come back. And, you know, what really uh, comes out of this game for me, if you look uh, statistics-wise, the shots are 37-27. Body checks are 38-30 for us. The face-offs are 61% for us. Uh, shot attempts are 77-54 for us. I mean, we just would you hit a goalie that stood on his head, and, uh, and that's going to happen. He played terrific, and uh, he made the timely saves uh, on many occasions, starting in the first period, and uh, and uh, they they were very opportunistic with their chances, and then uh, that's where we're at. Very simple. You mentioned the faceoffs dominant tonight, and ultimately cost you on the third and fourth goal. How tough is yeah. that? Well, yeah, no, I mean th those uh, those can't happen. I think we we, we have control of those, and uh, definitely those two goals we can uh, take out of that game, and um, and it's a different game. Um, even the first one, I mean, that's that's a goal out of nothing that we that we can't give. So I mean, right there, there's three goals that against a team that's seven one and one before they play us, and that's on fire. Uh, we know they're very opportunistic, so it, you can't give them those. And um, yeah, so that's and on the other side, you know, going from Bobby's puck under the goal, he stopped by the stick to Carlson's post at three-two. Hoffman's great chance on the power play at three-two. Also, uh, you know, it's 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 it, they were opportunistic. We weren't. And um, in terms of stats, can't do much more than that. So that's that's where it was at. In terms of the chances and high quality chances, uh, they're in the upper part of the league in, in generating those high quality scoring chances. For the most part, are you ha happy with the way the Pajot line sh was able to shut down Matthews tonight? Yeah, besides the face off and, and that power play, I think we're ours. I mean, you could always debate with the other team, but ours are at 19 12 for us. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's right now, it was, it was just they put it in, we did not. Uh, and those face-offs, uh, those face-off goals out of nothing cost us. And, and uh, in a game like this, it can't. And that's it. Period. Bah, ben, écoute, euh, toutes les statistiques euh, sont en notre faveur de loin. Euh, on a 77 tentatives de lancer contre 54 pour nous autres. On a euh, 37 lancés à 27. Euh, on a 38 body checks contre 30. On a 61% des face off euh, Je pense que euh, faut, puis les scoring chances, c'est la même chose, 19-12. On, on, euh, on a joué un super match, mais on a fait des erreurs coûteuses. Puis les autres ont été très opportunistes. Euh, très opportunistes et puis nous autres, euh, le contraire. Le gardien de but, écoute, c'est pas juste nos gars, ils ont manqué. Là, le gardien de but était phénoménal de l'autre côté. Alors, il euh, faut donner à l'autre équipe qu'est-ce qu'ils ont. Ils ont travaillé fort aux autres aussi. C'est une équipe qui est 7-1 et 1 dans, qui, avant de jouer ce soir contre, nous, contre les autres équipes. Alors, c'est sûr qu'on a affronté une équipe qui, qui est hot en ce moment. Puis, qui, qui, on dirait que toutes les fois que touche à rondelle, marque un but. Alors, c'est sûr qu'on ne peut pas leur donner des, des, des petites erreurs qu'on leur a données. Vous avez mentionné les mises en échec. On a vu un match quand même physique, beaucoup d'émotions ce soir entre les deux qui sont prêts dans le classement. Est-ce qu'on peut voir un peu euh, une rivalité qui est née ici entre ces deux clubs-là? Bon, c'est sûr, mais il y a une vérité depuis, regarde, euh, notre match d'exhibition à Halifax, on le sentait, notre match d'exhibition à Saskatoon, on le sentait, le premier match ici qu'on a gagné, c'était pareil. Euh, alors, ce soir, c'était la même chose, oui, mais je vais être franc, euh, la rivalité avec tout le monde en ce moment, tu regardes tout le monde, euh, euh, tout le monde est dans le même paquet, puis je le dis depuis le début, tout le monde va dans le même paquet jusqu'à la fin de l'année. T'en gagnes deux, t'as l'air à en avance, t'en perds deux, puis t'es rendu en dessous, tu sais, ça, ça va être jusqu'à la toute fin. Uh, your captain's thought in the third period maybe they need a little bit more from some players without naming them. Would you agree? Did you get enough push from enough players? Well, I mean, if you look at the stats, we got quite a push. But, but you know, when you lose, you always want more uh, from whoever, from the team in general. So, I mean, I'm certainly going to point at fingers at any guys right now. Uh, go look at the game again. But, um, you know, when, when you miss that many chances uh, and, you know, most of it comes from the great play of the goaltender. So he did something great tonight. He was good. You know, that's part of their team. He, he played very well. Um, you know, but the, the, the two posts we hit and uh, the two on, you know, the one on old Zingle got, like, you know, we've got all the chances in the world to, to score more goals tonight. And um, I don't know what Eric means, but definitely, you know, we wanted to bury those goals for sure. And defensively, we got to make sure that these three goals that don't happen. Those are three goals for me, the three freebies that against a team like that, you can't allow. You 
vous arrivez à, à mi-saison mi avec ce match-là, quand on regarde l'ensemble, on va vous dire que vous êtes satisfait de l'équipe. Ben écoute, avec tout ce qui est arrivé, euh, le but, c'est quand on voit qu'on Anderson et euh, McArthur, c'était des désastres. C'était pas rare à commencer l'année. Puis, euh, tu te demandes où est-ce que ça va être rendu au mois de janvier. Alors, je pense qu'on a une position en ce moment, bataille avec tout le monde. C'est ce qu'on voulait. Euh, alors, on s'est mis dans la position qu'on voulait arrêter. Alors, c'est exactement ça qui est en train d'arriver. Toutes les équipes sont dans le même paquet. Puis, on est une de ces équipes-là. Alors, il faut pousser jusqu'à la fin. It's, it's if you don't play well and the stats are totally the opposite and then you know you didn't show up man, I mean then you got issues but I mean I don't think we got issues we made a few mistakes and their goalies kind of stood on their head and and that's where the game was so I mean, we're, I'm not gonna reassess every and, and uh, you know make everything more uh, more of what it is I mean it's 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 a hockey game between two good teams that went at it and you know I think we did a lot of great things that Uh, they could have made us turn the game the other way, and you know they put it in, and we didn't. So it's, that's where that game is. So I mean, it's, it's, it, those games are clearer for me. They're simple. Uh, halfway into your halfway into the season, is the halfway mark. Are you satisfied with, uh, where you where you're positioned at the moment? Uh, you know, the word satisfied for me, I'm never satisfied, but are we are we happy that we're in the mix? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if you look at everything that's happened to this group since the beginning, starting from training camp with uh, concussions and so on, and, and, and the situation with our goaltender, you know, if you would have told me that our number one goalie would be out for two months, and, you know, MacArthur wouldn't have played a game until now, it's uh, those are scary things for, for a hockey team, and I think the players have battled real well. Uh, have grown together to to be where we are right now and battle with the best teams and, and we have and we're in the mix and that was the whole that, that's the whole point in mid mid season you want to be in the mix and we are but everybody else is too so it's that's that's the NHL you win two you look like you're at the top and you lose two you look like you're at the bottom so it's going to be like that until the very end it's a dog fight and uh, we're ready for it and we're in, we're in a position to to fight with everybody.